What up? It's me, Tiny Pirate Gaming, and this is a tutorial video that's going to cover how to find all of the milk molars in a specific region. For tutorials on other regions, check out the playlist linked down in the description for all your milk molar collecting needs. Now let's go grab some molars. The next region covers the section of the upper yard that spans along the ledge overlooking the pond, or as I like to call it, the upper yard ledge. Here you can find 5 milk molar locations and 1 mega molar, and one of the molar locations will reward you with multiple stat boosting power ups. To reach this first molar, you'll want to come to the mixer located in the garden of small berry shrubs. The molar can be found wedged up in the branches of the shrub closest to the mixer station, and you'll probably need to build a bit to reach it. Once you're able to get up into the shrub, you'll be able to platform to it using the branches. Here it is on the map. This next location will reward you with multiple molars, so if you want to boost your stats quickly, this spot is a great place to check out early. In order to find it, the best place to start is at this field station where you can see the partially buried molar bottle protruding from the ground. From the bottle, if you look south, you'll be able to spot the blue bottle cap a few dozen centimeters away. Beneath of this cap is a short tunnel that leads into the bottle where you can claim a whole bunch of milk molars. Here it is on the map. Reaching this molar is easy because you'll only need to come to the Puncho juice box along the upper yard's ledge, overlooking the pond. From here, you can peer out over the ledge where you'll be able to spot the molar perched on a small outcropping below. And now all you have to do is glide down to it. It's so easy! Here it is on the map. This molar is down inside of a cave that's found along the upper yard's ledge and is located right here on the map. Inside of the cave, you'll need to use a bouncy ball to reach the elevated ledge where the molar is hidden. You can move the bouncy ball by hitting it with your weapon or by simply pushing against it. You'll need to position the ball in the center of the large chamber so that you can use it as a platform to reach the molar. Here it is on the map. The next molar is located down inside of a plastic pipe that's protruding from the ground. You'll need a termite axe to chop through some roots to access the tunnel and you'll also need to bring a brat burst bomb. In the first chamber of the tunnel, you'll find a gap through a wall that allows you to see into another chamber. Inside of that chamber is a cracked rock, and you'll need to throw a brat burst through the gap to destroy the rock. Once you've destroyed the rock, continue down into the tunnel and enter the submerged area. Swim through the submerged tunnel until you find a hole in the ceiling that you can jump out of. In this chamber, you can find the molar nestled between some quartzite stones in a corner of the room. Here it is on the map. In order to reach this mega molar, you'll need to locate the pink toy car where you can find it in the driver's seat right behind the steering wheel. An 89 Kazari Roadster. This has hoof written all over it. Here it is on the map. And that's how you find all the milk molars in this region of Grounded. 
don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitch for live streams, Twitter for channel news, and join the Tiny Pirate Gaming Discord to discuss grounded gaming content creation and more along with me and the rest of the hashtag Tiny Crew. So whether I see you here in the comments, over on the Twitch sphere, or someplace else across the streamiverse, just know that I appreciate all of your support and thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Alright matey, watch your step. There be a tiny pirate here.